Taylor, this is your first pro race for BMC. You must be excited about that. Yeah, I'm very excited. Uh, you know, debuting here at Tour of Oman with BMC. It's uh, you know, last year I did Qatar with Trek Livestrong, but wasn't able to do that this year because I had a little problem with my hamstring behind my knee, uh, my right knee, and and that sort of I just needed to lay low and let that resolve. And um, fortunately, it's it's healed up, and and I can come to this race and, and be confident. And then I'm really you know I'm excited. I'm excited to be here. It's a beautiful hotel. Really cool country, always always fun to branch out of you know Europe and the U.S. So uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to to getting into racing. Does it feel different riding for a pro team like BMC, even though you raced against pros a lot? Yeah, for sure, it does feel different being part of you know uh, we have the Pro Tour, World Tour, whatever it's called. You know, being part of a really big top level team. Obviously, the support is is just notched up that uh, extra little bit and um, you know I'm just excited every every single race opportunity that I'll have this year I'm just sort of excited because it's new for me and uh, you know the guys are great uh, just always laughing at the table stories and really good bond with the with both the team and and the staff and and, uh, and the directors so is there a special atmosphere here in Oman because you're all staying together yeah this you know Qatar and Oman are interesting because we all do have meals and everything in the same in the same rooms and so you can see guys that you've raced with or guys that you know you know there's a couple guys I know from the track like I just saw Cam Meyer and um, Dowsett was in Qatari I don't I don't know if he's here in Oman I didn't see him out today um, I have to confront him about the fact that he doesn't follow me on Twitter anymore so <laughs> but I think that'll be a private Facebook message to do I should need yeah, it's something you know. I've had I've had knee problems in the past, and most of them have been related to tight IT bands and just sort of overuse. But this injury that I had was was completely different. It was more of a, a strain or a pull in the hamstring. So I really just needed to let it heal, and um, and I did that and just built up slowly in Italy and had a good week of training last week. Was able to do some motor pacing and some and some fast climbing and. So, you know, hopefully the walking around the airport and the travel didn't do anything bad to it, but I'm just going to go back to the go back to the hotel room right now and ice it and stretch and uh, maybe hit the beach, get a little tan. Will it affect how you perform in the time trial? For sure. Having the, you know, having the injury has definitely hindered, uh, hindered some of my form. I was had to take about two or three weeks where I was at training camp. And I was only able to do, you know, 10, 10 hours each week because I was I was trying to come back and then it would hurt again and I would take it easy and then tried to come back too quickly and I did that a, I did that a couple of times, you know, just getting excited at training camp. So you know, I'm a, I'm a little behind on the training, but fortunately, you know, at, a, at my young age, I'm able to bring it up quickly and and I feel pretty good. So we'll see. You know, I'm not. I would normally be targeting this this final time trial. Um, right now, you know, I'll obviously go out there and, you know, the first thing I want to do is I want to finish the race, finish the race healthy and uh, and with some good form. And then and then that time trial, you know, we'll see. I'll obviously give it up, give it my all. But you know, I am a little a little further behind than I'd like to be.